Time has many definitions, but the main one is its state of progression in the past, present, and future tenses. Time can be considered the fourth dimension of reality used to describe events in three-dimensional space. But let's look at different perspectives inside of high school. Kip Atlanta Collegiate High School. My name is Mr. Washington, also known as Baba Washington or Baba Wash, and now I'm the principal school leader. Time, in my own words, is kind of like a, it's kind of like an ocean, right? Um, you can't measure how much water is in the ocean, but you know it's a lot of it. But you also know you can't waste it, right? So once time is gone, it's gone. Like we can never get it back. In my opinion, I think first period goes the fastest because that's when everybody has the majority of their energy. Um, I think fourth period goes by the slowest because everybody's waiting on dismissal and ready to go home because you've had a long day. So yeah, I think first and fourth, first being the fastest, fourth being the longest. My name is Miss El Shire and I am a teacher at Kip Atlanta Collegiate. It is a hard question, I think. Um, people often say like time is a construct. Um, I don't actually believe that. Uh, we exist and we continue into existence. Time is the measurement of that existence. One of my weaknesses as a teacher and has been since I started teaching is time management. Um, there are times where I've used like stopwatches and kind of kept myself on a strict schedule. Um, I'm not doing that right now and I probably should get back to it because I'm not managing time very well. It depends on the class period and the day. Um, my fourth period sometimes drags on because it's the end of the day. But then also some days there's so much going on in that class that it goes super quick. This class I feel like is actually the most consistent with time because you all are so consistent in like the way you behave. Time marches on at a really steady pace. Hi, my name is Tania and I am a scholar at Tinsley. So what I do is that I wake up later than I'm really supposed to and try to still get to school on time. And then throughout my day, I take little five minute mental breaks um, just so I can feel rejuvenated for the next class. And during lunch, I used to ask the time, that 30 minute period, to like conversate with my friends and get to like catch up with other people and like just use it as a time to like decompress everything that I've learned. My name is Jermaine Clark. I'm a singer at Kidland Collegiate and I'm a scholar here. Uh, I have 30 minutes at lunch and how I manage it is I just eat food and then like talk to my friends. I feel lunch goes slow but fast at the same time. It depends on the day. Because I do a lot of stuff at home than I do at school because I have like a lot of chores and a lot of stuff like walking my dog, cleaning up, like working out, eating, doing a lot of stuff at home. So I don't only really have free time at home, but I do at the same time. You know? One of the most essential things that we have to live, like <clears throat> as we breathe each breath, we can't get each breath back. Like each breath is very unique, just like each day is very unique. So time is the same way. Uh, so we have to be very cognizant of how we use our time and measure our time. Later. Now that you see the different point of views of time, you see that people use time metaphorically differently in many views outside the world, wherever you are, school, work, and just being there, it uses time.